Welcome to chapter 4.3. This chapter is called Line Integrals and it will be the third and last chapter in the block of chapters dedicated to multiple integration. Oh, I'm sad that this multiple integration will be finishing with this chapter. But anyway, let me give you the overview of the chapters that we are doing in multiple integration with this very simple sequence of images. So if you remember, chapter 4.1 dealt with this part. We started with simple integrals, f of x, we did double integrals, and then we learned how to do triple integrals, right? And that was this was the first chapter, 4.1. Then in 4.2 we said, actually, we can now start going back in, in dimension. So from 3D we can go back to 2D, so that we can do now surface integrals. And what's the difference between a surface integral and a double integral? Well, the difference is that we learned how to do double integrals on the xy plane. So this would be x, y, yeah. So these were all always flat regions, okay, such as this one. While in 4.2, we learned how to do surface integrals on surfaces that are curved. So now we are going to go one step backwards again in terms of dimensions. So instead of doing two dimensional surface integrals, we're going to go back to one dimensional integrals, but it's not going to be the boring old one dimensional integral between A and B that you studied last semester. This will be a three dimensional. So it's a one dimensional integral acting on a one dimensional curve in three dimensional space, okay? So this curve here is like a string in 3D. So it's a string doing something in three dimensions. And we can do a single integration, so a single integral along this string, okay? All the steps and all the sections of this 4.3 dealing with line integrals will be very similar to what you did in 4.2 dealing with surface integrals. So we will start by talking about parametrizing curves, similar to how we parametrized surfaces. Then we will talk about the definition and applications of one dimensional integrals like this called line integrals. And then we will do something that is almost analogous to the flux, but in the case of one dimensional integrals, it's also an integration of a vector field and it also includes a dot product inside. Okay, so the structure of 4.3 will be very similar to the structure of 4.2. So see you in the first video of 4.3.